Hi everyone, we are here at Data Plus AI Summit and look who are with me, Eric, the SVP of Product and Strategy at Posit. Eric, welcome to The Robert Show. Such a pleasure to host you today. I'm excited to learn a little about what's happening at Posit, also a little about your role. And I know you all have like deeper partnership with Databricks as well, so wanting to learn a little about that. But why not, uh, just for our audience, uh, quickly tell us a little about yourself, uh, what do you do at Posit, and also a little about Posit too, please. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's for a sure. pleasure to be with you today. Uh, my name is Eric Pite. I've yep. been with the company for about five and a half years. Oh, I nice. lead product and strategy, so product management, um, uh, strategic integration partnership like Databricks, where we are today. Fantastic. And um, yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Fantastic. Uh, Eric, thanks for sharing that. Uh, I'm kind of, you know, I've seen Posit for a while now. But uh, I've also followed our studio back then. So I'm kind of wanting to know a little bit about that story too, about Posit's rebrand from our studio and also a little bit uh, if you can talk about, you know, the increased focus on uh, Python. Yeah, so for sure. Can you share a little bit? Yeah, so the company was created under the name Our Studio about 16 years ago by JJ Allaire and he decided to give back to community by building better tooling for the R ecosystem. Right. Um, after that, you know, uh, Joe Chang also built Shiny, and uh, yeah. Hadley Wickham built many um, open source R packages over the years. And about seven, eight years ago, we realized that R is really important, but for data science, Python is equally important. Yep. So we started to make investment in a Python ecosystem. Nice. And uh, we realized that the name, the brand R Studio, was working against us. Like the analogy we often take is if you have a friend who's vegan, you want to take your friend to a restaurant and it says a steakhouse. Yeah. You're going to have a hard time to explain to your friend. So we, um, about three years ago almost now, we decided to rebrand from R Studio to Posit so that we are not tied to one language. Uh, we are building a company that we hope is going to be around for over 100 years. Yep. And so 100 years, you know, there won't be R, there won't be Python. So being tied to a language name was was a challenge. So that's why we rebranded. Now but it's the, the same it's company. The, it's the same company, but I, now I get the, you know, the analogy behind, you know, changing the name. So that's fantastic. Thanks for sharing that. Also talking a little bit about, you know, since you all started open source. Uh, how do you kind of keep that balance between open source in the enterprise, uh, but at the same time, uh, posit balances between machine, community, and commercials? Yeah. So that's massive uh, way to balance things, uh, and at the same time, give back to the community as much as possible. Yeah, that's. Uh, a, can you tell a little about that? Yeah, that's a great question. So, the company was really founded initially to uh, build great open source products. Right. And we, uh, we build what we call the virtual circle, which we, we create great open source products that get traction in the market. Those data scientists using it will then go into enterprise, want to use those tools, and we build enterprise grade solution, leveraging this open source solution. We charge for that. And then the proceed that we get, we reinvest back in the open source. So that's kind of this uh, virtual circle Right. So we have, you know, close between 17 and 1800 customer. Wow. And um, and each time I meet them, I said, you know, whether you know it or not, you actually contribute to open source. Exactly. Because about 40 so percent of our engineering is dedicated to open source that we give away. So uh, the root of the company is really open source. About five and a half years ago, six years ago, we moved the company from a C corporation to a public benefit corporation. Nice. So maybe some of your listeners don't know quite what a public benefit corporation. So when you're a C corporation, you have one goal, maximization of shareholder value. This is it. Yeah. Uh, for public benefit corporation, there are multiple stakeholders. Mm -hmm. And we basically inscribe that in our charter, you know, customers, employees, the greater good that we specify in our charter. Right, right. So we made that change about uh, five and a half years ago. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. It's for the greater good and for the community as well. So that's uh, those are fantastic insights, Eric. Uh, thanks for sharing that. I kind of also have like a little bit of uh, curiosity around 
Positron and the Posit Databricks partnership, yeah. since you look after the integration bit as well, can you share a little about that? Yeah, so I'll start with Databricks since we are hosted by Databricks yes. here today. Um, we, we, we integrate our products with them so that there is no headache for the end user. The yep. data scientists, you know, they don't need to have uh, you know, specific access token to access. Everything is integrated inside POSIT Workbench right. to make their life easy. So, you know, OS, all the credentials pass through. And what we do, which is really important also, is like make sure that we leverage all the data governance right. that Databricks offers that is uh, very strong. So if we build an interactive application, you know, you access it, I access it, we have different access within Databricks, we will see different things. Yeah. So, you know, inheriting the governance that you have in Databricks I think is really important for enterprise. We do it for Databricks. In all transparency, we do it for others as well. You yeah. know, Snowflake and, exactly. and other players. Yeah. That's fantastic. So that, that's for the Databricks side. Positron, uh, you know, so we, we started as our studio. The our studio ID was the first product we built. And um, we've learned a lot over more than 10 years. And we had a, a lot of customers and users coming to us and say, could you do Pi Studio? you know, basically our studio for right. the Python language. Yeah. And so a few years ago, we decided to uh, solve that problem, which is offer a multi-language ID uh, specifically for data scientists. So we took a fork out of VS Code, right. leveraging all the great ecosystem yep. and all the extension you can get from VS Code, but really focusing on solving the problems that data scientists have. So all the good learnings over the last 10 plus years on the RStudio ID are now uh, in, in Positron, which is available mm -hmm. today for download, and we'll go GA uh, next month. That's awesome. Uh, so we'll wait for that. Uh, and yeah. Thanks for sharing that on the Robert Show. We're excited to see how that's kind of coming together. I'm kind of also uh, wanting to learn a little bit about Posit's view on AI for data science. Yeah. That is something huge because everyone's kind of, you know, obviously we've been hearing the buzz around AI, we've been seeing fantastic use cases coming around AI, but how does it uh, looks like in data science? Yeah, that's a great question. AI is all the buzz these days. Everywhere you go, right. the, the pace of improvement huge. has been hard to believe for me. If anyone told me three years ago, I'll be able to do what I'm able to do today, I probably wouldn't have believed no it. No way, yeah, exactly. Um, so we want to empower you know, data scientists to do more, and we have a number of products integrated in Positron to be able to do that. Nice. From code assistant to doing exploratory data analysis. Uh, but we want to do it in a very responsible way. We realize that uh, you know, there is a lot of trust given into a data scientist. So our data scientists need to be able to see and prove what they're doing. Uh, we know that LLMs are prone to hallucination. Um, so that, that's kind of our take, which is, you know, really empower the data scientists in a very responsible way by showing them the code, letting them edit and, and inspect the, the code. I love it. Uh, that's uh, definitely super helpful for, uh, you know, the users. Uh, but also leveraging AI in the best way possible. Yes. So that's fantastic, Eric. Uh, one more quick question uh, I had was around the communication bit. So uh, communicating data-driven work with code and storytelling, why do you think it's important? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you look at the flow of a data scientist, you know, usually you want to answer a question or multiple questions. You access data, you write code. We're code first company. Yes. That, uh, you write code to generate your insight. You're very happy with yourself, but then you need to share that with other stakeholders, right? You're not going to go with your laptop around the office to share that. So um, we've built a number of products. Some of them are free and open source. Others are more for the enterprise. And uh, so they're, they're coupled. Like Posit Connect really allows the data scientist to publish a lot of artifacts. Right. And um, about three, four years ago, we... we we built something called Quarto. So Quarto helps you do what we call literate programming, which mm -hmm. I think was coined by uh, probably Donald Knuth many years ago. 10 plus years ago, we did R Markdown, which allows you to have code and prose and all of that in the same document. So 
we revamped that to be again multilingual. You could do it with the R language, you could do it with Python, you could do it with Julia, you could do it with Observable JS if you want, yeah. and many yeah. other things. And that's also a testimony to balancing for us, you know, open source versus enterprise solution. We believe that products like Quarto should be accessible and available to everybody. Right. And that's why very it's fully true. open source for us. That's very important and uh, very thoughtful as well. So thanks for uh, making sure that Posit is for the community uh, as always. The mission never stops uh, to give it back to the community. But at the same time, you all have like fine balance between the commercial side and uh, right. you know the enterprise side as well, which is fantastic. Eric, one last question for our audience. If folks want to stay updated with all the insights, uh, all the announcements, everything that you all are producing, where can they do that? Uh, and also, if they want to follow you, <laughs> where can they follow you? Is LinkedIn the best place? LinkedIn like? is a good place, probably okay, the fantastic. best place for me. Uh, but more important for the company, you know, our website, we have newsletter, we have a strong presence on LinkedIn, Blue Sky. Nice. Um, but I, I would invite everybody to uh, follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to the newsletters. Fantastic. Uh, so you all know where you all can uh, follow Posit and team and key, stay updated with all the insights. Eric, such a pleasure chatting with you Likewise. on the Rabbit Show. We'll keep the conversation going. Great work that you all are doing in the space. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today.